code NME1. <coughs> First of all, thermostat. Uh, obviously, you set that for the temperature that needs to be on before the boiler will run. All of the radiators in the lounge and bedroom will have a thermostatic valve on, so you can turn your own radiator up or down. That's just a normal valve. The bedrooms have thermostatic. Boiler itself. <coughs> Water temperature, radiator temperature. Water is on all the time, so provided the boiler is switched on, the, the sorry, the main switch there, provided the boiler is switched on, as soon as you turn the tap on, hot water will come out. Um, three settings for the radiator. That's supposed to be a moon, that's off. So in the summer, obviously, you have the radiators off. Um, in the winter you put sun, that's the radiators on, so they'll run 24 hours, but most of the time you'll have it on the timer. The clock there <coughs> shows what time it is, and the little arrow there shows whether it's on or off. So this will just drive around like a normal clock. In is on, so when the segments are in, the boiler comes on. When the segments are out, the boiler goes off. So you can see on the orange light there, as I turn it around, it's clicking on or off. Currently the time is half eight in the morning. So that now will just carry on moving round. If for any reason this pressure gauge gets out of the green, then you need to repressurize the boiler. <coughs> um, this is called the filling loop. So follow that up there. That piece there, you put a screwdriver in it or a knife, turn that, and that will put more water in the boiler to fill it up to get the pressure up. Again, if that goes for any reason, give us a ring and we'll talk you through how to do it or come round the next day ourselves and do it.